this story, a home invasion turned trip to the hospital for one man who's now in police custody. The brash break-in happened at 5.30 yesterday, right in daylight in Citrus Heights. Your reporter Ashley Sharp is covering Sacramento County tonight and tells us the suspect didn't make out with anything but a beatdown. Yeah, not so lucky, right? He, uh, This homeowner actually says that he thinks that this was an attempted robbery gone wrong. The suspect, who is not yet being named by Citrus Heights police at this hour, walked through the front door that was left unlocked and got a bit more than he bargained for coming face to face with a father whose protective instinct kicked right in. Captured on doorbell camera, the moment Bobby Tucker says this intruder picked the wrong home to mess with. He stops, looks around, see if anyone was looking and then comes in and starts attacking my kids. With only seconds to respond, Tucker was in the back room when he heard screaming from his 14 and 11 year old boys. I came out to the hallway and I see this guy over the top of my son hitting my son and I just instantly gave my all to take care of my kids. Tucker fought hand to hand with the intruder until he was unresponsive, then held him at gunpoint until Citrus Heights police arrived. Still a little in shock. I did what I had to do to make sure that everyone was safe. The 29 year old suspect that so brazenly walked in the front door left on a stretcher. Citrus Heights police confirmed Friday the suspect is still in the hospital but in police custody, expected to face charges of robbery and assault. It makes you feel unsafe, makes you feel like, oh, I want to move somewhere else. Tucker left wanting more security cameras at his home. And when he watches this video, he sees a scary encounter that could have been much worse. The kids, they were traumatized. I didn't want my kids to have to see anything like that at all. Tucker says his children were punched and choked, but will be okay. This father glad he was in the right place at the right time when a would be robber walked through the front door. Now that homeowner will not face any charges. Police praising him for protecting his home and his family. Tucker hopes that this is a warning to others guys to always be aware even in your own home yeah. where he says of course you should feel the safest. Wow. Right? I think that suspect is uh, glad that Mr. Tucker showed some restraint. Right? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah, absolutely. Especially I mean he did hold him at gunpoint you know at some point so he could have taken absolutely. further action. Right. Ashley thank you. All right. First of all I want to thank everybody that subscribed so far. I really appreciate it. I know I don't do that enough, um, but with this situation, I, I shouldn't laugh, but it, it's just something about it. I mean, when people do stuff like this and the tables are turned on them, uh, I, I don't know what, what it is. I don't know. Maybe it's the drugs or they're just stupid or just maybe both. But if you run up into somebody's home and you're not supposed to be there, then you're asking for trouble and then to attack somebody's child. Look, People, people don't play when it comes to their children. You know, this guy was in a place where he was not supposed to be, and he attacked uh, this man's uh, children. And the, and the father, uh, Mr. Tucker, only used his hands, but the intruder, he's lucky that he left that home on, uh, on a stretcher and not in a body bag. But, uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, lock your doors, man. Make sure you lock your doors. Make sure your kids are locking the doors behind them when they come in. Um, I know it can be a difficult thing to, to get our kids to understand uh, the importance of, of doing that um, because it's, it's, it's something that I go through or I have gone through, you know, with my oldest um, kids. I don't know. They just have other things on their minds and they get so caught up in these other things that they forget about safety. But we have to get them to understand that there are some people in this world who look for opportunities to take advantage of us and to possibly harm us even when we're inside our own homes and the uh the, the way things are now it doesn't matter if you um live in a so-called good neighborhood or you live in a gated community um some people are just ballsy and and they're not afraid to break into your home while you're there and um uh, for me i always double check my doors and things around the house um especially if I'm about to rack out for the night. And another thing too, if you are the first one to get home after a long day, or if you live by yourself, check your stuff out. Don't just come home and, 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 and 
you know, do whatever, like just flop down on, on the couch in front of the TV or do whatever, whatever else it is that you normally do. Uh, get into the habit of, of checking, uh, checking your stuff out and, and just making sure that nobody, uh, you know, came onto your property, tampering with stuff, trying to get in. Because, uh, I mean, even though you may have a security system, uh, you got to think about the stuff that the security system doesn't pick up, um, you know, uh, around your home and everything like that. But um, kudos to Mr. Tucker in that situation for doing what he needed to do to uh, get this man um, off his son and away from his children and for also showing great restraint because he he held that guy at gunpoint after he gave him that beat down. And um, I, I think this could have been a lot worse, you know, for the intruder uh, had Mr. Uh, uh, Mr. Tucker, you know, came out of that uh, room with his firearm. And, you know, who knows? You know, well, we know how that would have went. But um, for the guy that broke in, maybe this will be the thing that puts him on the straight and narrow path going forward. And uh, maybe he'll think twice, you know, before doing something like that again. But y'all take care. Stay safe. Make better choices. Remember that your home is your castle. Defend it like one. Peace.